you're doing like you're just thinking about 24 hours from now but what about 30 years from now you feel me like you gotta you gotta you gotta you can't think short game you gotta think long game and that's what the when we talk about these setups that's what they banking on they because they like they know you hungry they know you thirsty they know you starving they know you cold they know you're gonna do something and when you do it that's when you get you get caught up for sure. It's, it's, a, it's a game, man. But, so yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So like, yeah, no, these things exist, mm -hmm. but don't let it run your life. Facts, right? You know what I'm saying, can't get can't get overhauled by whatever you feel is deemed unfair, man. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Right. These things has been around for years. Facts, you know what facts, facts. You're not gonna change this system overnight, right? And you might not change the system in a generation or right, two, right? But by doing what you need to do, mm -hmm. man in the mirror. Mm -hmm. That's the first step to a real change. If you're okay. serious about a change, you dedicate it to yourself first. Right, start with yourself. And right. then people learn from what we see. No doubt. Um, and then, um, yeah, well, actually, I want to go back. Because I, I think, like you said, like, you know, how you said you start with yourself. And, you know, even Pac said that. He said, you know, he might not change the world, but he'll spark the mind of the person who will. Mm. And I know there's so many people, you know, not saying that I'm anybody monumental, but there's so many people that live their life that I, I look, yeah, 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 that'd be dope. That, um, you know, I admire and mm -hmm. that I looked up to, you know, and they're dead and gone now, you know what I'm saying? But they had an impact on me, you know what I'm saying? It made me look at life differently because of, you know, choices that they made, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And you never know you know who who who's gonna be that one to you know make that change and it may not necessarily be a societal change it might just be an individual change like Correct. just because you did something and you lived your life a certain way somebody liked that somebody liked what you did and somebody admired what you did and they incorporated it and because of that they had a better quality of life mm -hmm. and otherwise had they not had you as an example maybe they would have you know kept that factory job and they would have died at that factory job or Definitely whatever possible. but maybe somebody seen your example said you know what I want to make clothes or you know what I want to make shoes or you know what I want to be a chef or you feel me mm -hmm. and just because they seen what you were able to accomplish it gave them hope you know and that's the importance and that's really what I what I learned about history that's why history is so important and not, again you know I'm not trying to be racist or anything like that but you know <laughs> like when like in school when they teach you about Thomas Jefferson and George Washington yeah and, we don't learn much yeah, about yeah. history it, it inspires it, it inspires them yeah. like they like yo you yeah. feel me and that's why history is so important for black people right? they be like oh black history blah, 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 blah. no it inspires you know what i'm saying it's like damn he did that bro like one of the people i learned from, i don't know if people remember this person from black history but his name was benjamin banneker he mm -hmm. was a mathematician he was a genius and he created the first almanac. Like he mm -hmm. was able, based on the position of the stars, he was able to predict the weather. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And he also uh, created the landscape for uh, Washington D.C. Like how the uh, roads like are like intero mm -hmm. interwoven, and mm -hmm. like the uh, how the the architecture for the city. He mm -hmm. created all that, and he was a former slave. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that was one of my. I mean, there's so many people from Black history that inspired me, but he was like the one because I used to love mathematics, mm -hmm. and he was a black mathematician. Like it was so dope and i'm like 40 years old now i probably haven't said the name benjamin banneker since i was like eight oh, you feel man, me but i'll never forget you feel me and that's why history is so important and that's why history is not only is it important but it, it cripples us because we don't we don't hear these stories True. about us True. you feel me so when we when we aspire like i, I don't want to be thomas jefferson like wasn't he a slave owner like i don't want to be this guy like half of these people they telling me about i don't want to be none of these people but what about all these other people that if you would have told me i'd be like yo i look just like him you feel me that's why black kids me personally that's why we love basketball you feel so me let, they so, all look like us so let, yeah i was gonna say let's say that for people watching who might not be black the reason look is a big deal when we mm -hmm. say see ourselves and mm -hmm. they look like us is because it just translate into what we just said a few minutes ago about mm -hmm. options mm -hmm. that's all mm -hmm. you know what i mean if we want to i'm just saying that for people who, who really can't comprehend or understand on our level right you know if you white spanish or whatever else is that lets you know you got even more options okay okay so you know you get like i don't know if you get it, what i'm no, saying no no i i get it like like it doesn't it doesn't end here and it doesn't stop there no like you can, you know, like and you I'm said. not taking away nothing from us being black, and this is what it is for us. But I'm just mm -hmm. saying, like, you know, just for people that might say, "Oh, they using it, they you know, can't keep pulling a race car." No, it's not a race car. Right. It's serious. It's, 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 it's real it's life. Reality, like, yeah. It's yeah. Like, 
but, but keep it real. I'm inspired by a lot of people, like because I, I like to write, and some of my some of my favorite writers are white Americans. Like mm-hmm. some of them are German. Some mm-hmm. of them, a couple of them are German. One of them is Russian. You know, so you can be inspired by anything. But, but it's see, different when it's like. And I feel like I do like how I'm doing right now. I mm-hmm. feel like I do that. I do that sometimes in business too, mm-hmm. where I'm kind of like trying to make myself seem more friendly mm-hmm. than aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because I feel like I'm kind of doing that right now. Like, oh, it's just this means options. Mm-hmm. But we get—I don't know. That's a deep. That's another topic, I guess. Trying to not defend who we are yeah. by making us look. Because <laughs> we are we probably the only group of people on the planet that even do that. Of course, <laughs> ain't nobody else. Ain't nobody else defending what they, they are said. Who they are. They're like, this is what I. This is what I said. Are, this is are. what I stand on. This is how I feel. And if you don't like it, that's now because I went. I went to Bright High School, so yeah. I know. No, no disrespect. I know white men. Like I know how white men get down. Yeah. I know how they roll. How they rock. They don't care. This is. They very confident. You feel me? And how they how they come across. Yeah, the, yeah, the and if you don't me. like it, you can kick rocks. That's how they. That's one thing I learned from them yeah, for sure. They that's never. It. They never sugarcoated nothing with me. You, you feel it. me? They just. If you don't like it, you get out my class. That's how they used to feel. <laughs> you said it. You said Facts. it. Facts. All right. Um. Mm-hmm. I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna hit you with two. Um. Free association questions, and you tell me. I'm just curious um, how you, because we, we talked about these words before. Okay. Uh, the first word is um, knowledge. When you hear the word knowledge, um, what comes to mind? Like, And it doesn't have to be one word. It could be anything, whatever you think. Intelligence. Mm-hmm. Um, wisdom. Okay. Which, you know, these are all kind of like one of the same. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Experience probably too. Now that I think about facts, it, facts, facts, facts. You gain a lot of knowledge from experience. Mm-hmm. Um, and smart. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, like I said, these these words are all one of the same. But um, self education, though, mm-hmm. for me, I feel is more important than um, systematic education. Okay, I say that. For sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, and I'm not downplaying either one. But uh, you know, college is college started because of big business mm-hmm. <laughs> in America, at least. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you know what I mean, so it's probably like a billion dollar industry, at least, yeah, yeah. at least probably a trillion dollar industry. You know, so you need people to work the machines. Facts. You know what I mean? But you got to separate them, supervisors and workers. Mm-hmm. So you know, you get this paperwork. He's gonna be a manager. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we talk more back in John D. Rockefellers and mm-hmm. you know all the other little families that you know they say pretty much run our country. Right. But I'm just saying. So you might want to edit that out, man. I keep nah, going. I don't edit nothing going. out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even do no I editing. I said I keep veering off all these sides because it's everything so intertwined. Yeah, exactly. It's, so it's, it's just it's the real. It's it's the, 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 the nature the, of our reality. The, okay. So what's the other one then? All right. The other one. I'm, I'm gonna hit you with uh, two more. All right. The next one is, and I hear you talk about. I hear you use this word a lot. What's that? Um, the word is energy. Oh, energy is important. Mm-hmm. Um, and you, you, I'm trying to think how to. Paraphrases, because you know I could go on for hours about energy. <laughs> uh, you got to watch your energy. You got to be really mindful, um, and it comes in many forms: by way of the ear, mm-hmm. by way of the eye, uh, even by by uh, you know the proximity, how close we are. Like it comes mm-hmm. in all these different forms. Mm-hmm. So you got to watch negative, positive energy. Mm-hmm. So. For me, I've been noticing the more I elevate is the more I focus on positivity. Mm-hmm. And the more I would just sidestep a negative conversation. Mm-hmm. I would just sidestep a negative comment. Like, mm-hmm. if I scroll through my Facebook, you know what I mean? Because I, I have to be interactive with people. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's another part of the Toast Factory as well. Like, it ain't mm-hmm. just about me. Just come see what I got going on. No, let me see what everybody got going on. Okay. But example being, if I see, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, such and such is F all these fake people. Like, it's just, I'm just not going to entertain it. Yeah, I'm just going to scroll next. right back. You know what I'm saying? Because what we focus on, what we give our energy to, right. is what manifests into our life. Okay. See what I'm saying? So okay. it's important that you don't let the negative, the negativity or that negative energy pull you down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You don't want to be in the midst of that. Right. Because it's easy to fall down. 
mm-hmm. but it's hard to get up. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? It's like trouble. It's easy to get in, but it's hard to get out. Fact. And that same thing is like energy. You know what I mean? You ever... Like the pursuit of happiness. There mm-hmm. it goes. So, right? I don't think you can ever be in a place where you absolutely happy. Okay. But in that pursuit of happiness, you feel great. Mm-hmm. And that stride to it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then you become appreciative. Attitude of gratitude. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As far as being a happy place, that's just you having an attitude of gratitude and you're appreciative of what's going on around you. Oh, okay. you want some AC? Oh. Sure. Mm-hmm. I ain't know if it's going to fit. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, don't even worry about it. Oh, 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 okay. Cut it off? Yeah, you cut, oh. take it. Yeah, you cut it off. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. There you go. Um, so for me, energy is important and, mm-hmm. I, and, and, and more so within, I would say probably like the last, probably ever since I left GM, right before I left GM, I started the book club and our first book we worked on was, uh, the secret. Okay. Um, that was dope. And that, and that's based off the law of attraction. Mm. So the things you think about manifest to your life. Okay. But pieces, another piece of that or a tool to that was energy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So monitoring energy. And so how our our feelings uh, let us know what, you know, like I was telling earlier, earlier, it lets you know what frequency you want. Like if it's a TV, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And our, and, and so when we, uh, how could I put it? Like when you're watching ESPN, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you're on a sports channel. Right. right <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? So when, when, uh, when, uh, you angry, right? Mm-hmm. You know you're angry because, you bursting with this 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 energy and you you got to do something like you know like right now i look flustered and right, confused right. and mm-hmm. so the is the emotions let us know what frequency we on you mm-hmm. know and and when you let bad energy in it, it you might take on some of they they yeah, emotions some right, of they feelings right, you know what right, i'm saying right, even right. music i don't care who say when they listen to music it don't affect oh music yeah. definitely if it, why you think that's why people work out the music you feel me it give you a whole different energy yeah Facts. so that's yeah, it's, it's so much energy, man. It's so much energy. Mm-hmm. All I can say is just try to stay around as much positive energy as you facts, could. Facts. You know what I mean? And if you don't have any to be around, good. Feed your own mind something. Okay. I call it positive mind food. Go read a book or something that's going to, something that'll benefit you. Facts. You know, beneficial. Yeah. All right. Well, with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and conclude. Um, Again, thank you, brother. Appreciate uh, you. Cuz, appreciate yes, you. Um, yes, thank you for taking time out to talk to the audience. Um, just about all the uh, wonderful things that you're doing, and may God continue to bless you and uh, grant you success in everything that you're doing. Appreciate if people want to, um, if you want to, uh, you know, people want to like connect with you or whatever. Is there any like, you know, like your social media or your Facebook or you know, how can people? Uh, I took the cards out. The car I was gonna put one up there. Okay. Um, oh, actually, you know, what? let me see. I might have one in my car holder. Okay. I do. I do. What's up? Stay prepared, man. Yes, yeah, sir. So this is, I'll just do this where you want to put it up. This is the card, the Toast Factory on the front, and then you just flip it. And then all these pictures are, you know, the products that we sell. And on the back, this is information. Oh, they can't see it because yeah, of Yeah, you might have to read it. Okay. All right, so, yeah, uh, if anybody want to reach out or see what we're about in detail or even just pictures, a lot of pictures on Instagram. You can check me out at the underscore toast underscore factory, all letters lowercase. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Keith G. Brown II. And my phone number, 585-802-0264. In case you guys want to book me for anything, parties, private parties. I do a lot of private bookings, um, bridal showers, whatever. Um, reach out or, you know, at least go on Instagram and look at it, see if it's something you like. All appreciate right. it. All right. Thank you again, cuz. Appreciate yes, you. Sir, cuz. And everybody, if you made it to the end of the video, uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Also, real quick, uh, this Wednesday, June 9th, we will be at Cobbs Hill. Um, we're doing buckets and breakfast. So um, my cousin is going to set up uh, his um, his pop-up. Um, we're going to be at Cobbs Hill. Um, I hope everybody know where that is. But it's off of Culver <laughs> Road. Um, the, the name of the street is Hillside Drive. And we're going to be on the basketball courts. And then we're going to be playing ball also from 8 to 10. Uh, we're giving out uh, free food. Um, anybody from Rochester Early College come through, uh, get some free breakfast. Or anybody, if you happen to be in that area, if you happen to be on the south side, the southeast side, come through June 9th, um, 8 to 10 in the morning at Cobbs Hill. And everybody, uh, have a good weekend. Be safe. And God bless. Peace. Peace.